In the world of fiction and the Marvel Cinematic Universe, the Iron Man armor is a marvel of technology designed to provide Tony Stark with extraordinary protection and capabilities. But we're not here to discuss how well the Iron Man suit works in the land of make-believe. We're here to put it to the test, examined through the lens of real-world physics and engineering. One of the most prominent features of the Iron Man suit is its ability to protect Tony and withstand powerful blows from falling debris to punches from superhuman foes. The problem is that, in reality, the armor's protection from such extreme kinetic forces would be very minimal at best. The armor is made out of fictional super-strong alloys and composites, but there are no known materials that could come close to absorbing and dissipating the kind of force that is depicted in the films. The problem is that while the armor might withstand the force of an impact, the human body inside still experiences those same powerful forces. When Tony Stark is hit by a missile or falls from great heights, his body is still subjected to rapid deceleration, which would unequivocally result in fatal injuries. Just because you are wearing an outer layer of armor does not make the laws of physics stop functioning. In the real world, when the body decelerates very quickly, the internal organs continue to move, causing them to collide with the skeletal structure. This can lead to concussions, internal bleeding or even organ rupture. Even if the armor stays intact, the shock-absorbing technology needed to prevent trauma to the body would have to be extraordinarily advanced, literally godlike. While the armor might not dent, the person inside would not survive a high-impact collision without significant physical damage. Their body would still be subject to the damage caused by instantaneous deceleration and acceleration. If Iron Man were struck by a punch from Thanos in the real world, the results would be catastrophic. Thanos, with his immense strength, could deliver a hit that is unimaginably powerful. While the Iron Man suit might absorb some of the impact, it wouldn't even come close to protecting Tony inside. The force would cause his body to slam violently against the interior of the suit, resulting in severe trauma. His bones would fracture and most probably shatter from the sudden deceleration and the shockwave would rupture his internal organs. The G-forces alone would cause severe concussions and spinal injuries, if not immediate death. The suit might remain intact, but Tony Stark would be left critically injured and most probably dead, as no human body could endure that level of kinetic force. The Iron Man armor would do very little to protect Tony Stark. The suit would require a massive amount of insulation to prevent Tony Stark from cooking inside when exposed to explosions, fire, or atmospheric re-entry. A layer thick enough to provide the necessary thermal insulation would make the suit incredibly bulky, reducing its mobility and effectiveness. On the opposite end of the spectrum, surviving in extreme cold, such as in space or the Arctic, presents similar challenges. The Iron Man armor would need a reliable heating system, protected within and powered by Stark's arc reactor, which in itself has major problems as well. This system would have to work continuously to prevent hypothermia in the freezing vacuum of space, where temperatures can drop to near absolute zero. The practicality of constantly maintaining internal heat while avoiding equipment overheating would be nearly impossible with today's technology. In the films, the Iron Man armor is frequently depicted as resistant to electrical attacks, including high-voltage shocks and energy blasts. In reality, protecting such an advanced suit from powerful electrical attacks would be an impossible task, especially given the complexity of the internal electronics, including the support and weapon systems. And saying that Tony Stark would figure it out is not a reasonable explanation. Theoretically, the armor could act as a Faraday cage, a conductive shell that protects its interior from external electric fields by redistributing electric charge around its surface. However, the suit contains a lot of exposed mechanical joints and articulated sections that would allow electrical discharges to penetrate. Moreover, such high-energy attacks would likely fry the delicate electronics inside the suit. Even if the outer shell survives, the internal systems, vital for controlling the suit's many features, would malfunction and render the suit inoperative. 
insulating the entire suit from electrical hazards without compromising its flexibility and dexterity would be a significant engineering challenge. Actually, it would be impossible. Even the design of Iron Man's armor presents some significant weak points, particularly in areas that require flexibility, like the underarms and neck. These areas need to be articulated for Stark to move freely, but this flexibility comes at the cost of reduced protection. In the real world, armor design sacrifices protection in joints to allow for movement. The neck is probably the most vulnerable area, given that it attaches the head to the body with a delicate human spinal column. While Stark is shown in the films freely turning his head, in reality, rigid neck armor and a helmet may offer protection, but would also severely limit his movement. Any flexible joint between the headpiece and torso would leave an exposed weak spot, making it easier for blunt trauma or even projectiles to penetrate. It would offer near zero protection against kinetic energy blows like a punch from Thanos. In combat situations, unarmored gaps in Tony Stark's armor would be exploited, much like how medieval armor left areas exposed to increase mobility. While the rest of the suit might be impervious to bullets or some energy blasts, these weak points would represent serious tactical disadvantages and would not provide any protection from massive kinetic hits. While the Iron Man armor is a fascinating piece of fictional technology, it defies the laws of physics in multiple ways, which is fine in the world of superheroes, where the impossible comes to life. But in the real world, kinetic forces would subject Tony Stark's body to deadly internal injuries. Despite its impressive appearance on screen, physics and engineering suggest that it wouldn't provide its wearer anywhere close to the indestructible protection that it does in the land of fiction, also known as the Marvel Cinematic Universe. We hope you enjoyed our look into Tony Stark's Iron Man armor and invite you back for our next episode.